Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on trading you with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be taking a pair, breaking it down both from an order flow and technical perspective. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move. And in doing this analysis, I will provide as much free education as possible. So I really suggest that you stick to the video to the end. So without further ado, let's go start straight to the charts. Okay, so let's make a full breakdown of the situation that we currently have for USD CAD because at the moment we do have quite interesting price action and structure. Now, starting here from the monthly, what we can notice is that we did have the creation of a series of higher lows. In fact, starting from here, the market created all these higher lows. However, at the same time, we never had the creation of higher highs. In fact, the market was creating equal highs at this level, rejecting it and respecting it as resistance multiple times while it was creating these higher lows, therefore classifying as an ascending tri triangle formation. And after the creation of a pattern like this, you expect a breakout, retest and continuation, which is in fact exactly what the market did. This candle here broke above the a pattern. The next one with this wick here retested the region. And then we had the continuation to the upside, creating a very strong move to the upside with very strong bullish momentum. Now, if we drop down on the weekly time frame, what we can notice is that the pattern that the market actually followed here in the weekly was that of a W formation. In fact, after the creation of a W, you would expect first the completion of the pattern at the neckline and then the continuation higher, which is in fact exactly what the market did. We had this W here, the market completed the pattern at the neckline and then printed the continuation to the upside. So also here in the weekly, everything seems pretty bullish. In a situation like this, where we have the impulse and correction, we could expect a little bit more of a deeper correction and then the continuation higher. Why do I say we could expect a potential deeper correction? Because if we take our Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse, we can notice how the first Fibonacci level that the market should create the retracement to is the 0.382, which is currently still a little bit lower. So we could expect a little bit more bearish price action before then actually getting a rejection to the upside and completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, dropping down on the daily, what do we see? Now, from a daily perspective, first of all, I spoke about USD CAD a few times in the past. I spoke about it after the creation of this impulse. We wanted, to, I want to, I made a full breakdown in which I explained all the reasons for which first I wanted to see the correction and then the continuation higher. The market created that move. Then we had the creation of this M pattern from here. I made another breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we could expect a rejection higher. And again, that is exactly what the market gave us. Then from here, I made another breakdown explaining all the reasons for which I wanted to see first a correction and then the continuation higher, which again, the market provided. And by the way, I will link in description all these previous analysis so you can go and check them out for more free education you find everything linked below now at the moment what we can see is that during the move to the upside the market has finally found a resistance around this zone printing this daily double top now if you have the creation of a double top and the market then manages to break below the low of that double top which in this case would be this area here at that point what we would have is the creation of this daily M pattern. And considering that on the weekly, if you remember, what we wanted to see is a little bit more bearish continuation before then a rejection higher, the pattern that the market would create here on the daily would be aligning perfectly with the one that we already wanted to see from a weekly perspective, because here on the daily, we would have this M pattern from which we expect a rejection to the, to the upside, at least for the completion of the pattern at the neckline. So also here on the daily, what we would like to see is for the market to provide a little bit more bearish continuation. And at that point, we would have the pattern for a potential longing opportunity back to the neckline of this daily M pattern. 
Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, and we check the data specifically for the CAD, what we can notice is that with the last reports, net positions have been decreasing quite massively. We went from having 26.8k net positions all the way down to now having minus 17.6k net positions, with 5.4k shorts added with the last report and 14.2k longs getting closed. Now keep in mind that all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. So if you're checking the data for the CAD, you're actually checking CAD USD. But in our case, we want the information on USD CAD. Therefore, we have to invert everything that we're reading here, meaning that if we are to read USD CAD, what is happening is that with the last report, 5.4k longs got updated and 14.2k shorts got closed. So clearly we are seeing strength in USD CAD and we see that also reflected in the price action, not only in the institutional positioning on the pair. So if we will have this move to the downside, there is definitely the possibility to see more bullish continuation, considering that from an institutional perspective, we are seeing a lot of shorts on the CAD, therefore a lot of longs on USD CAD. So if the market here will create this rejection to the downside, how we could be approaching this potential rejection higher and this potential longing opportunity. Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily combined with the COT data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames, so for our and lower. Therefore, what we could be doing is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the downside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we would have to an intraday bullish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market and provide to us one of our valid entries, at that point, we could be looking for a potential rejection to the upside for the market to complete this M pattern at the neckline. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say valid entries and this kind of things, that is all part of the mentorship program, which you can find at transparentfxtrading.com. Here you have the possibility to gain access to my entire course with all the rules of the strategies. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, the VIP market breakdowns with the telegram signals, the COT data software, which is the one that we use precisely for this analysis, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface, and if you scroll lower past the testimonials, you will see that at the moment I'm running a special promotion in which you can both join with a discount and since I have partnered with the Forex broker Blueberry Markets, if you open an account with them from the student dashboard, you can get a full refund credited back into your trading account. And if you scroll lower, you will see that from here you have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the checkout. So definitely looking forward to have you on board. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. And I will see you in my next video.